Uh, those shoes scream, Grandma Shirley. Yeah, they do. <laughs> what are we getting ready to do? I don't know. <laughs> it's getting real. Okay, I've got the rings on the right side. You got rings? Yep. I got vows. Mine are in the right. Okay. Jane's are in the left. Okay. Hopefully mine aren't too short. I know. I mean, a few words. Because <laughs> Daniel covered it up. What is it? The cone out there. Oh. You can't see it because I covered it up. Oh. <laughs> You're so smart. How was it out on the ice? <laughs> I'm glad you didn't fall through. I am not falling over because these windy. heels are sunk in. Yeah, you're, yeah. Looks like you drilled a well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <they are>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I shrunk back you down to my yeah, normal size. Right here. Okay. And you're gonna hold hands, okay? All right, ready? <sighs> <laughs> She's eyeballing that camera. Walk with mommy. All right, should we hang on to hands? Hey. Oh, you want to hang on to mamas? How about you? All right, ready? Emily, Adeline, Adeline. Don't don't step on that. Oh, what was oh. that? Do you want your camera? And your... Oh, your Okay. All right, ready? Let's go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Yay. Okay, go stand with Grandma and Papa, okay? Come on. She was eating dirty snow, that's for sure. Okay. All right. You guys ready? Ready to do this? Are you, you ready? ready to do this? Yeah, of course. Okay. Right. Always ready. Everybody's ready. Everybody ready? Everybody ready? Everybody ready? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to give that to somebody or do you want to hold it? Kitty. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. <laughs> of course. <laughs> we are gathered here today to witness the joining of two families into one, Jacob and Jenna, whose hearts and spirits are entwined as one. They now desire to profess before all the world their intention from here on out to walk the road of life together. To these two people, this marriage signifies the birth of a new spirit, a spirit which is part of each of us, yet not of any one of us alone. This birth of spirit reminds us of spring, the season of when life is reborn and looms again. It is appropriate, therefore, that this wedding of Jacob and Jenna be in the spring and that it be under the open sky where we are close to the earth and to the unity of life, the totality of living things of which we are a part. I will now share a reading that Jacob and Jenna hold close to their hearts by John Mark Green. In you, I have finally found all I never dared dream I could deserve or have, the kind of love that is rare. Being known in a way that touches the deepest parts of me, accepted in a way that blows my mind. In you, the love I have always desired to give now has a place to call home. I have been a skeptic, but you are my undeniable miracle. The questions don't matter anymore, and we have finally found each other, and that is enough. Each of you has prepared your own vows to each other. It is now time to share those. Jacob, will you please? There's yours. No, thanks. Yeah, this is going to be not very easy, <laughs> but we'll give it a try. All right. So, Jenna, from the first awkward hug <laughs> to pasta with a push pop, I knew life with you was going to be different. Ever since our first date, our relationship has continued to grow both on a personal level and more importantly, our lives together. You have changed my life. You bring peace to my soul and within my heart. I never would imagine life would be so wonderful. Today in front of family and friends, I get to confess my love to you. A love that is that I feel not very many people get to experience in a lifetime. Jenna, I promise to be your rock when you need support and your pillow when you need a soft place to rest your head. 
Every day I wake up and I look at you and think about how blessed I am to have you as my wife, my soulmate, my forever. I love you. Jenna, will you please? <laughs> Jacob, thank you for bringing the love I didn't know I needed. It has changed me. You have brought light to the darkness, showed me what it is like to really be loved and appreciated. From the hug the very first time we met to our failed attempt at crossing to the other side in the escape room, <laughs> I knew something about you made it different. In the short time we've been together, we've had many challenges and events occur, but we've always, but that's only made us stronger. I promise to catch you when you feel like you're falling, to be present when you need a hand, shoulder, or hug. I promise to be here during your darkest days and your brightest nights. I promise to love, support, and help you in whatever your mind dreams of. I'm here for you wherever and however you need me, forever. Jacob, you've opened my heart and my life to the raw, undescribable feelings of love I didn't dream was possible. I'm so excited to continue lifing with you, with the love, chaos, adventures, challenges, and growth that it brings us. I love you with all my heart, being, and soul. Thank you. <laughs> How you? Mine's also not. Yeah. Okay. Do you, Jacob, knowing this person's love for you and returning it, realizing her strengths and learning from them, recognizing her weaknesses and helping her to overcome them, take Jenna to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. <laughs> do you jenna knowing this person's love for you and returning it realizing his strengths and learning from them recognizing his weaknesses and helping him to overcome them take jacob to be your lawfully wedded husband i do let these rings serve as locks not binding you together but as keys unlocking the secrets of your hearts for each other to know and thus bringing you closer together forever. Legend has it, there is an invisible red thread that connects us to those we are destined to meet, regardless of time, place, or circumstances. I'll give you these. Uh, Jenna's out in yours. And that one's for Jenna. This thread may stretch or tangle, but it will never break. This red string of fate binds you through all eternity. You once were blinded by heartbreak, too hurt to see. You lived your life separate, always feeling incomplete, too ignorant to notice this invisible red thread between your fingers. No matter the distance, it can become tangled, yet never broken. The moment you met, it was as if destiny had spoken. The red string of fate can stretch throughout the world, yet will always lead you to each other. You are forever connected by this string tied around each other's fingers, binding your hearts together since the beginning of time. It led you to each other. Now you have found your way in each other's heart and soul forever is where you will stay. Wear them to remind you all that is destined will be. I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Miller, husband and wife. What do you say, girl? Not math. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We're caught again. Okay, we're better now. Can you hold it and I'll tie it? Hold it right there. Oh. Wait, honey badger. What is she doing? You need to check her for ticks this summer because this is It wasn't that boring. Should we walk out of here? <laughs> All right, let's go this way. Come on, let's go this way. Wait, we got we got champagne. We're no, we're, Ryan told us to walk. Oh, this way. yeah. No, here. You guys get a hand. Here, don't throw him. Hold on to him. Hold on to him. Congratulations. Hold on to it. There we go. Time for the champagne. <laughs> All right. <laughs>